Hey guys, how's it going? Matthew back here from a series of little efforts. And today I want to talk to you about why coffee is making you fat. I understand that coffee, black coffee has very few calories in it, but there's a lot more to it than that. So let's just get right into it. So there's a big difference between a black coffee and these fancy coffees that are out there. If you go and have a 16 ounce, uh, I don't know, white chocolate mocha, for example, that works out to about 400 calories and that's without the whipped cream. You go and add whipped cream on top of that, you're adding another 70 calories. Now, you, we'll go without the whipped cream just to make the math easier, but you have two of those uh, drinks a year, or sorry, two of those drinks a week, that works out to 800 extra calories a week. When you do the math, if you just do that in excess of your normal diet, uh, where you would not gain or lose any weight, that works out to be adding 12 pounds a year to your frame just based on two coffees a week. So definitely consider that when you're looking at your next purchase at the coffee shop. Try and go black if you are gonna go coffee because those fancy coffees are so, so, so bad for you. That extra 12 pounds a year was gonna add up really quickly and you add whipped cream on top of that and I mean, it just the number just starts exploding. So for those of you who are just having regular coffee but are putting cream and sugar in your coffee, that works out to, if you have, sorry, uh, one ounce uh, one ounce of cream and one teaspoon of sugar works out to 74 calories. So if you're having five coffees a day, which I know lots of you do, uh, it works out to 370 calories a day, which is going to work out to gaining a half a pound a week. That works out to 26 pounds over the course of the year that you're going to gain just because of your coffee. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, listen, I only drink black coffee, it has no calories in it, or I only have one coffee a day. Um, so what I want to do now is get into how the caffeine is affecting your body and what it's doing to you to make you gain weight. Keep in mind, this isn't only coffee. I'm just using coffee as an example, but tea and energy drinks and Coke and anything with caffeine in it are included in this as well. The first main reason coffee is going to make you gain weight is because it's going to affect your sleep, obviously. Uh, especially if you're having it late at night or even later during the day. You know, for me in particular, if I have like, I don't know, anything with caffeine in it later in the day, it won't necessarily hurt my ability to fall asleep, but it does affect the deep sleep that I get into. So it doesn't really let you get into that deep REM sleep. And because of that, your body doesn't repair itself as well which again leads to restlessness at night and obviously the next day you're just not as rejuvenated as you normally would be. So this lack of sleep is going to make you fatigued. What happens when you're fatigued? You crave energy. When you crave energy, you crave sugar and it just starts that bad cycle and you'll start to eat poorly uh, during the day or even if you're not eating poorly, you'll eat a lot more than you normally would if you had gotten a good night's sleep. So definitely be careful of that. Uh, it's one of those things that not having caffeine uh, at all is obviously the most beneficial. But if you have to have a coffee, try and have it early in the morning. That way, when you are trying to go to sleep at night, it's not going to affect your sleep because it would have already worn off during the whole day of work. One of the bigger points is that coffee impairs glucose metabolism. Uh, therefore, it is stimulating blood glucose imbalances, which in turn is impacting the adipose tissue fat production. So basically what this means is it's making you gain belly fat. On top of all that, I'm sure you've all seen the commercials about cortisol and how bad it is for you. Uh, cortisol is a stress hormone that triggers body fat accumulation. So in terms of coffee, if you have all this coffee, which is increasing your cortisol secretion, it is in turn increasing your internal stress levels, which is again going to increase your body fat production. So increased stress equals increased body fat, and increased coffee equals increased stress. So that's sort of how the first step as to how coffee is forcing you to gain weight. So avoiding stress is the main key to helping you lose weight, or at least maintaining your weight. So avoiding coffee, tea, pop, 
uh, energy drinks, any of those things is definitely going to help you keep your weight down. All of these beverages and all these other things out there, uh, whether it be pills or drinks or coffee or whatever, uh, they can increase your body's blood sugar, blood sugar levels. So what this does is it actually in the long term hurts your body from being able to manage these blood sugar levels. And if your body can't properly manage its blood sugar levels, it's a lot like diabetes. Um, one of the main problems with diabetes is that you aren't able to properly manage your blood sugar levels. So if having all this coffee gives you the same sort of effects that something like having diabetes has, you can kind of start to see the negative impacts in this. Even though for years people have been arguing how coffee has all these great benefits to it. Having said that, before you go and click off the video or hit dislike and complain in the comment section, I understand. Coffee has a great amount of huge like antioxidants and all these things that are good for you. But just because it has good things for you doesn't mean it doesn't have things that are bad for you. If it comes down to you're trying to maintain your weight or you're trying to lose weight just flat out, yes, you should avoid coffee. There's no question about it. If you're in great shape and you know, you take good care of your body and you're having no problems with weight gain or stress or anything like that, and you're just really tired in the morning, go ahead, have a coffee. But just don't make it a part of your daily routine. Anything out there where you're going to be able to develop an addiction, uh, as I'm sure you've seen a lot of it, you know, people will go to, in Canada, they'll go to Tim Hortons and they'll go for years and then they'll try and stop going and they can't get through the day. They have severe withdrawal with headaches and nausea and all that kind of stuff just because they didn't have their coffee. Anything that gives you that sort of addiction um, and has these sort of negative side effects, I would definitely recommend avoiding. And this isn't just going for coffee. I know, again, I'm using it as the prime example uh, because it is something that I try and get my clients to cut out of their diet altogether. Um, I know that most people won't, and I don't even really fight them on it, but I do point it out because in terms of weight loss and stuff, it's really hard uh, if you're drinking a lot of coffee to maintain your body weight or in, to be able to improve and lose that like thin layer of tissue around your abdomen. So keep that in mind the next time you're at the gym or the next time you reach for that fifth cup of coffee for the day, just try and cut back at least a little bit, try and lean off of it, increase your water intake, and it will definitely help you reach your goals a lot faster. So I really hope you guys learned something in this video. It's something that I really care about and am passionate about. It's all about getting results the good, strong, natural way. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you liked the video and you learned something, please comment. Uh, leave me some, some nice comments as well. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some negative backlash from this one, so I definitely would appreciate the nice ones as well. Uh, like the video, share with your friends, uh, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you all soon with some more videos, guys. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.